Hey guys, you remember my brake calipers that I was gonna do? The seven series calipers? Well, they're finally going on. We're about to go to the shop right now. We're gonna put them on today. Stick around. All right, I'm gonna take it to the past now. This is about a month and a half ago. This is when I was painting the calipers. So you got some primer, paint, and high temp clear coat over there, all that. This is me getting ready for some stickers. You'll see them, you'll see them. And here we go with the stickers on them. Now I went ahead and applied ceramic coating and look at this, perfection. I am so happy with how they turned out. I got some stainless steel lines to go along with the new calipers. These are the pads that I chose to use. They're Power Stop Evolution Plus 17 Series Ceramic Pads. And just so you guys know what's going on, so my friend was nice enough to lend me his shop to go ahead and do this swap, um, but he did have music going on in the background, and I don't want to have any copyright issues with YouTube, so I went ahead and killed the audio on all the clips that I took while I was inside the shop. So I'll just go ahead and overlay some copyright-free music in its place. And I tried my best to go ahead and put a caption on each clip so you guys know what's going on. I should have been more careful. God. Anyway, I went ahead and touched it up afterwards and fixed it. Just for reference, at this point, the only tools I really needed was an 18 millimeter socket to remove the caliper mounting bolts from the hub and a 716 wrench to disconnect the line. Some can't stay sober looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough I don't want to feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus Good enough, nothing's really clear. Sometimes it could be a little tough. I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me. But let's be really real. Anxiety can foggy all yeah. this stuff. It sucks when you finally feel like giving up. Oh god, no luck. Everything feels like you're sticky stuck. I'm lost. Be very careful when loosening or tightening the outboard leader valve because it's very easy to chip the paint on the, on the caliper around it. So just be very careful. Uh, you know, I had touch of paint, so I went ahead and ended up doing that. That's what I'm telling you to be careful. I learned the hard way. I got nightmares in my head. I feel. That the thoughts build up until I can't hear that my mind Hey guys, so I'm outside my friend's shop. I was leaving the shop all happy and stuff. I was gonna go take some nice pictures of the calipers and whatnot when I kept hearing this nasty grinding noise. I'm like, what is it? Long story short is I learned today that these calipers do require you to grind down the, the outboard pads because the pads do grind against the head of the rotors. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. Guys, and the crazy thing is that it allowed me to mount it and torque everything down as if everything was normal. And I did notice that the rotors weren't turning, but I just, I attributed that in my head to the fact that there was 15 PSI of pressure through the system when I was bleeding it. But nope, it was this. 
And sorry guys, it's cold as heck out here. <laughs> so I'm done for today. You see the sun is already going down. And yeah, so I'm leaving the car here at the shop. So tomorrow when I get back, I'm gonna go ahead and just push the pins. I'm gonna take the outboard pads, which is what's making the contact here. I'm gonna grind them down at home and then I'm gonna put them on. There will be clearance at that point. Then I can drive the car. So I'm excited with these particular uh, calipers. I was hoping that this would be a fully bolt on and clearly it wasn't. Um, I expected it for the larger calipers. I didn't think that I would need to do it on these, but it is what it is. It's not a big deal. So uh, let's get to it. All right, this is one pad already milled down. I actually ended up having to cut more material, but look at that. I have about a millimeter and a half of clearance between the rotor head and the pad now. Okay, so it's been a week since we went ahead and installed the new calipers, and man, I am so happy with them. Um, as you can tell, they look gorgeous. I'll try to get some better pictures for you guys later, but uh, so in the week, I ended up having to bleed the brakes a few times just to get all the air out. Um, I did, I used my power bleeder once when I initially installed them. Again, the next day after I went back to, to grind down the pads and then I uh, went to BMW and we did an ISTA procedure and it still, it, it got a lot better, but it was still missing. Uh, it, it still felt a little mushy for some reason. Like it still, it, it was strong enough to lock up the brakes, which never did before. So it's great, but the bite point was so much further down. So I knew it still had air in the line somewhere. So I went ahead and did another power bleed and that ended up doing it. So I've been driving around for a week now. I wanted to make sure that there was no other issues going on with it. And it has been rock solid since then. I'm very happy with them and they look amazing. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So the car's been washed. I got new stickers for the fenders to match the ones that are there right now. It'd be the same color. I haven't changed them yet though, but I will. But yeah, take a look at that. Kind of hard to see right now because the spoke is on the way, but that is nice and clean and I couldn't be happier. And the best of all is that those things are a lot lighter than the factory ones. And yeah, like, the brake pads are wearing nice and even on the rotor. Take a look at that. Jeez, everything's looking good. So I am beyond happy, guys. that's it it took three episodes but the front brake caliper upgrade is done we managed to put g12 front brembo calipers on an f10 and the, on, the only modification we had to do was grind down the the outboard pads but honestly that could have been avoided by simply running f10 550 front rotors it's the same diameter 348 millim millimeter diameter however the the hats are a smaller diameter and that would have given us the clearance for these pads but because of the fact that these cross-drilled and slotted power stop rotors have about 3,000 miles on them, I didn't want to just chuck them. Like, they're perfectly fine, and the pads were so cheap, I'm like, you know what? It cost me nothing to hit them with a grinder. So, besides that, besides the looks, the performance is definitely there. I do feel that they break a whole lot harder uh, than before. This, they, this can lock up the, brake, the front brakes, no problem. So, just, so, let's talk about money. All in for the new calipers, paint, fluid, the stainless steel lines, uh, I'm in about 600 bucks. And at that price to get four putt Brembo's, 
in your in the front you can't beat that that's that to me was a no-brainer so that's why i jumped on it but anyway thank you guys so much for following again uh hit the like button hit the subscription button and again we got a lot more stuff coming thank you so much